Today, we find out if the H&Y Revo Ring Swift is the death of screw-on filters. There we go. Oh, that hurt. Now, you might be thinking to yourself, Zach, the only ring I care about is the one that floats above the sky in my favorite video game franchise. And trust me, I was right where you were before I tried the OG Revo ring. And if none of this is ringing a bell for you, then let me give you a quick history lesson. Back in 2020, H&Y revealed their first Kickstarter campaign for their very first Revo ring. This product was designed to do away with the problems that dumb old step-up rings caused. And you've probably experienced some of these step-up symptoms before, including fits of rage due to your filters being stuck to your lenses, and poverty in your bank account for spending ungodly amounts of cash money on filters and step-up rings for your various lenses that you definitely bought on credit. Now, how did the Revo Ring fix these problems, you ask? Firstly, the Revo Ring acts as a variable step filter by having an adjustable mounting size, like 58 to 77 millimeters or 67 to 82 millimeters. This means you no longer need multiple step-up rings to fit your various lenses. And here's the real kicker, the OG Revo had built-in VND and CPL depending on which option you bought. In 2021, H&Y updated the filter, this time adding a version with built-in diffusion, aka Black Mist. Black mist, black mist, black mist, black mist. And for those who had already purchased the original Revo, they created magnetic black mist filters that would just snap onto the front of your Revo. And you know what else is at the front? This man at a race. And you know what this man and this woman have in common? They're both swift. So here we are in modern day, and all I can think is, how the hell did they make a better version of this product, and is it actually even better? Because last year, let me just say it, I liked it, so I put a damn ring on it. That's a meta joke about how the Revo ring is the only VND I use, and also how last year I actually proposed to my woman and gave her a ring that I put on her finger, now we're engaged. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you all. The new Swift changes up the meta and offers a variety of options that appeal to people other than just video shooters. Yeah, that's right, I'm talking about photographers. Now, H&Y only sent me a portion of the new gear, and trust me, there is an absolute shit ton of new gear to talk about with the system. I'm primarily gonna focus on the stuff that I use, but I will mention all the other goodies here in a little bit. You still get to choose your variable size option with the Revo ring, but now you get to magnetically place what you want on the front of it and build it out how you need it. And that's the whole bread and butter of this new system. It's magnetic, it's modular, and it's pretty freaking sweet. So let me run you through a scenario. It's bright outside, you want a soft look with minimal flaring. Revo ring, bam. Magnetic VND, bam. Drop-in filter with quarter blackness effect, bam. Sick-ass matte box, bam. It's really that easy to set up this gear. You just plop it on there and it magnetically attaches, you're good to go. And this is the main stuff that they sent me to review. But like I said, I'm gonna mention everything that they offer in this whole new Swift lineup of gear. So if you don't wanna see me go into absolute cocaine editing mode, feel free to skip ahead using the chapters below or go to the Kickstarter link right here if you wanna do a nice detailed read through of everything or check out Richard Wong's video. It's very chill, very detailed and thorough. It's a great video. I'm so sorry for what's about to happen. Think of the Revo Ring Swift as a three layer system, which I stole directly from Richard's video. It's basically a three layer system. Thank you, Richard. Layer one, Revo Ring. You have to have layer one on to start applying. Layer two. Magnetic bridge ring or magnetic VND. And here are all the options for your drop-in filter effects. ND, CPL. ND plus CPL, Night, Black Mist, Four Times Star, Six Times Star, Blue Streak, which is actually a really funny movie starring Martin Lawrence, and this is my favorite scene. I mean, it's just like leaving candy around me. It's not gonna be all right. I'm gonna turn off it. You see what I'm saying? Remember, you have to have something from layer two to start applying layer three. It's a chronological system, people. Here we go with layer three. Magnetic filter holder, magnetic square filters, magnetic hoods, magnetic matte box. It's all magnetic, folks. I'm not saying that word again. <laughs> H&Y offers a bunch of their own square filters. Here's the list that I'm not gonna read. They also have magnetic frame kits for 100 millimeter or 150 millimeter square filters. So if you've already purchased some of those in the past and you don't wanna buy all new filters, you can just get a frame kit that's magnetic so you can use your own filters with their system. They sent me the 1.5 to 5 stop variable ND, but they also have a six to nine stop for those of you who wanna film into the sun. Whoo, oh my goodness. Wow, okay, that is the hardest part about reviewing this product is it's not just one thing. It's a ton of gadgets and gizmos, so much to remember. What I would recommend is grab a drink, sit down and go through their Kickstarter. They have a bunch of pre-built tier lists on there based on different people's needs, like photographers, video shooters, and some other things on there. Maybe just check it out, take your time with it, because that was, 
That was a lot. But now we can move on to the stuff that I actually used hands-on. The VND is one of the better upgrades because they've implemented hard stops on the low and high end, so you no longer get those X patterns that you would maybe see from the old models. The one downside is that as you stop down on the variable ND, the color gets a little bit warmer. It's nothing too crazy, but I did want to point it out for all you wonderful pixel peepers out there, because I love you. The drop-in filter rack is a really cool idea because you can change from Pro Mist to Blue Streak or Undie Streak, whatever you're using, very quickly. One potential issue is that if you're shooting on super wide lenses, you're going to start to see that filter rack in your shot. I was starting to see it around 24 millimeters on my Sony, but I do believe they make a wider angle adapter that kind of solves this problem. Either way, it's something to look out for. For the effects I tested, I really enjoyed the black mist, but some of you already know I'm a sucker for some good old diffusion and halation. The blue streak, although a great movie, is not a filter that I think I'll be using. I just think the effect is too strong, especially when you're shooting at night into multiple light sources, it kind of overwhelms the frame and becomes distracting, so I will not be using this one. Now the matte box is solid while only weighing 139 grams, and it does a great job of controlling contrast when you're out in bright conditions by blocking out the sun from leaking into your lens and screwing things up. And it is way faster to set up than a traditional matte box that's rail mounted. This baby, you just magnetically slap it onto the front of your lens, and you're already looking more professional, controlling your contrast, and dude, you're just super freaking cool. The one issue I have is that because this entire system is magnetic, it tends to rotate very easily. So if having it perfectly lined up and stable when you set it on the ground are your highest priorities, then this might not be for you. I don't see it being a huge issue, but it's just something to be aware of. Now for me personally, I love my older Revo ring because the entire setup is smaller. And what's cool is a lot of these new Swift products can actually build upon the base of those original Revo rings. So they're not forcing you to throw out all your old gear, bring in all the new. They're not trying to grab all of your money. That sounded sarcastic, but I meant it. I don't know, I'm leaving it in. But the question remains, is the Revo Ring Swift the death of screw-on filters? Well, I mean, there's times where you're probably gonna wanna use screw-on filters. They're smaller and have their own uses, but it just kind of made the video more dramatic and cool. So yeah, anyway, subscribe or don't and text me when you get home. Okay, I love you. Bye.